I have come from contrast, and that's always happening, but I am in a position where I understand that everything that I've wanted, I've created, and I have the ability to have. That source is a part of me. There is no separation. And can you feel, especially from what we were just talking about, that these things that you want, they are thoughts that have already started to turn to things. Absolutely. So, and are you beginning to feel the certainty of the progression of them? Yes. That's really what we're wanting to help you with here. Absolutely. The interesting part is when I was younger, I wanted to save the world. And now I understand the world doesn't need saving. No one does. But I have all this power. <laughs> because you can certainly have thoughts of well wishes and oh, thoughts absolutely. of positive desire for the world. And you can be a benefactor in expressing the energy. Yes. Yes. The, yes. We're not wanting you to think that you can only selfishly think about things that are directly related to you and what you're wearing and what you're eating. Right. Oh, I, that, do that's realize, favorite. Yeah, I do realize, though, that the more I give to me, I'm giving to everyone. It's, you can't thrive without adding to the thriving of the world. Exactly. Exactly. I don't have really a question. It's, it's that I'm looking to the next step, and I know it's forward, and I know everything's going to happen, and the doorways are opening, and my, call it, word for living is allowing, which I got from you, so thank you. Let us give you another word. Let us give you something even more to consider, because we like how you feel. It feels good to us to realize yes. that you recognize that you're here to explore and to discover for yourself things that you care about. And you've pointed out that what you care about is broad. You care not only about your own personal environment, you care about a broader scope. You care about the world. You want others to thrive and be happy and live well. Absolutely. So this is all part of your desire. And your time living on this planet has caused you to put those ingredients into this vibrational pot, into this vortex. And those vibrational ingredients are becoming and becoming and becoming because you and others have put them there. When a desire is realized by you, I so want the world to be a better place and I so want to do my part in whatever that means. That is a vivid desire. It's a real desire and it's a desire that you get to own. It's your desire and you get to hold that desire. So you can't create in the reality of others. You can't wish for someone to have something because you can't be their receptive mode. Right. You can be the projector of thought about it. Now, this is where we want to take this conversation into a new place. In the last gathering in Long Beach, someone sat in the chair and asked the question, Abraham, you say that there's no assertion. And yet you talk about how we think thoughts or we, we project thoughts. He said, I'm wondering if we can project a thought, then why is there no assertion? And we said, because just because you're thinking it doesn't mean somebody else has to receive it and live it because it's all law of attraction based. So think about a projection of thought, a thought that you think, a broadcast. Think about a radio tower broadcasting a signal. Well, it can broadcast all day, every day. And if no one has a tuner that's tuned to it, and no one's turned that tuner on, then that broadcast is not going to be received and there's not going to be any manifestation as a result of it. It's like if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, did it make a sound? No, because there was no one there to translate the vibration into a sound. So in order for creation to happen, there has to be a broadcasting and a receiving, a broadcasting and a receiving, a broadcasting and a receiving. So. The way you set your receiver, the way you set your tuner is by what you broadcast. It's by what you think. So when you think about a world that is wonderful, you set your tuner to receive evidence of that wonderful world. When you think about a world that is having all kinds of catastrophes and problems, then you set your tuner to be experiencing or aware of those kinds of things. And so it's so wonderful that you are each a part of this magnificent balance of broadcasters and receivers that there is enough diversity in what you desire and in what you allow 
that everyone has the potential of living happily ever after and in fact you are better off for every diverse opinion that exists because through the diversity you sift and sort and find what you are projecting and as you project it meaning as you think about it as you speak about it as you talk about it you practice a vibrational countenance that equals your point of attraction and then life is reflected back to you in perfection to the broadcast that you are sending so oh ooh, 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 ooh. let's just rest in that deliciousness for a minute yeah. that was so good jerry wanted to write a book called turning thoughts to things because he had a sense of this long before he met us he was wanting to talk about how thoughts turn to things why do some people have this outcome of life and other people have this outcome of life and as he began watching people and sort of making an association between what they were living and how they were sounding he began to notice an absolute correlation between people who were feeling good about life and how their lives were turning out and people who were complaining all the time and how their lives were turning out he saw people who were in good positions because they'd been born into good positions who ended up in terrible positions because they couldn't stop talking about the resentment that they had that their parents didn't give them more of the pie and so he became aware that there is something to the way these thoughts are turning to things and so we want to say today that as you are caring about the way you feel so you have managed to wake up feeling good and then not do anything to counter that or sit in meditation and quiet your mind which stops resistance so that your vibration raises or take a walk on the beach or put your feet in the sand whatever it takes for you to find yourself in that tuned in tapped in turned on state of being once you are in that receiving mode while you are in that receiving mode you are the realizer of all kinds of thoughts that are turning to all kinds of wonderful things all the way along the way to the magnificent culmination that you're reaching for on different subjects so esther's been watching because she's been listening to us for a long time <laughs> really long time she's been hearing us say this statement right from the beginning of her translation for us there are two ways to know what is in the works in terms of what you're creating two ways to know one is how you feel the other is how it's turning out how you feel is pre-manifestation how it turned out is post-manifestation pretty obvious isn't it so you can tell what your vibrational state of being is by how you feel and how it turns out well if you care about how you feel and you receive an idea about something call them go see them go here do this when you get an impulse from the receiving mode pay attention as it plays out it's wonderful but if you're all balled up in something if you're angry if you're frustrated if you're mad at somebody if you feel like you've been mistreated and then you follow the impulses that come from that vibration watch how it turns out it always 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 matches good feeling thoughts that you hold consistently always turn in to wonderful experiences in life not good feeling thoughts always turn in to more of the same now any step along the way you can have a bad feeling thought and certainly it's natural to have a reaction to something not wanted it's natural to feel defensive if somebody comes at you suddenly it's natural for you to defend yourself and not let them just slug you right in the face that's natural but the next question is do you stay in that defensive stance for more once somebody comes at you do you walk around like this for the rest of your life I thought maybe you were gonna hit me so I have to be ready for that because the more ready for that you are the more people hit you it's just the way that it is but any step along the way you can realize oh this doesn't feel good I can do something about finding a better feeling thought so we like this conversation that you stirred up because we do know that you want to help the world be a wonderful place and it's interesting the more wonderful your life is the more you desire that for everyone else as well we've begun saying recently we've been saying it in lots of different ways over time but recently our words are don't try to be somebody else's point of least resistance because you just can't get in their head you can be the offer of thought about them but you cannot wait get out of the way 
I've been thinking really good thoughts about your success and now I need you to just lay down and go to sleep and I'm gonna be the receiver of the thoughts about you too oh yeah I wished you well and now I've received it and now everything will go well for you, you cannot vibrate for another because you cannot think for another but you can influence others through the clarity of your example and you can influence a world or a situation to something that feels better by clarifying we are reluctantly allowing Esther to choose this word because it makes you wonky but we were going to say it. clarifying purifying cleaning up your vibration about a subject if you can just not let yourself think the thoughts that you don't want to turn to things and if instead you can choose thoughts that you will like it when they turn to things and if you will then do the only thing that you can do do it in the early stages because once there's momentum the thought will have its way for you so then you got to meditate or you got to go to sleep you got to do something other than allow that thought to get a hold haven't you ever had an experience where you're feeling pretty good and then you sit and you're visiting with someone and they bring something up and you didn't even realize that that was a big old wadded up active thing in your vibration because you hadn't been thinking about it for a while but now they're talking about it you're thinking about it and before you know you're off and running on a whole conversation that you don't want to be off and running about this is the control that we are asking you for in meditation the other day Esther received a very clear statement and she loved the way the statement unfolded in her own mind let the control that you seek or let the control that you attempt to offer let it be only about controlling your own positive expectation and if you will work on controlling your own positive expectation then you control your point entire of attraction universe, actually. the entire universe is a cooperative component for you and others who don't know that they'll watch you they'll be jealous of you they'll condemn you they might even find fault with you but if you've practiced positive expectation they can't assert their negative experience into you they can project it you can receive it but you've got choice about whether you receive it or not and your ability to receive it or not receive it has to do with one thing and one thing only how much you've practiced good feeling thoughts how much your vibration is frequently in that tuned in tapped in turned on position yes don't you love deliberate creation? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's something more? World. Can we stir um, something up with you? The only quote unquote issue is I'm writing a book and it's about practical application, living your life in a positive way. But as I write it, I find I've already done that and it's old news to me. There is a little bit of disadvantage to anyone who writes a book about anything. Because if you were writing a book, the way we are encouraging you to be moment by moment so you're only talking about now it'd be such a short book I'm here I feel good I love life hope you do too the end <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the name of my book <laughs> the whole book's in the title exactly we wrote one like that yeah. it's called asking it is given the yeah. end <laughs> I like that the end yeah but as a teacher you realize that you're interacting with many people that are at many different places in their life experience and so there's nothing wrong with recording your positive successful process through life experience and if everyone knew what you know they'd all be sitting around wanting to write that book but there are a lot of people still looking for books to read and so just enjoy the process just don't push against just remember what is your desire you told it to us when you first sat down what is your desire in the writing of this book to, to be bring more to others. love freedom freedom I found that freedom that I looked for for so long and it's here and I've always it's you know save the world and I kind of saved myself so I saved the world that's where I'm coming from. You want to be of advantage to others. Absolutely. You are an uplifter to the very core of your being. Yes. And so if you just continue to remember that this is an uplifting book that you're writing, it's not a book of justification or defense. It's not a book of trying to fix something that's broken. It's you meeting up with someone else who has a clear desire and you understanding that their desires are varied and you do your best to send a signal with your book that they can resonate with if they desire and then you just be as clever as you can be to help them find points of resonance awesome
And the more fun you have, the more successful your book will be. Yes. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.